guys, welcome back. Um, I'm camping again. This time I'm in Cern Abbas. I think you can probably see the um, Cern Abbas giant behind me on the hill. Uh, it's not a great angle, but it's there. I arrived at the campsite yesterday. I tried to go to the new forest, but everywhere is fully booked at the moment. I was lucky to get this spot through a cancellation. Turned up yesterday, set up, got a new awning, which went up very nicely. Did it by myself. I had to blow up one, which I'll show you later. And yeah, it went up nicely and had a nice evening until uh, I went to bed. Went to close my sliding door and it fell off. Here's a picture. Yeah, that happened. Um, and I just kind of stared at it, like, what do I do? Luckily, some nice people on the Early Bay Facebook page helped me out, told me what to do, and I got it on uh, by myself with relative ease. It's a heavy thing, but I managed to do it. So, first night, a little bit rough. After that, though, I slept quite well, so that's good. Uh, no rain this time, which is great. Right now, I'm walking down into San Abbas village because I don't have any coffee with me, or a kettle. So, come down for a coffee. around a bit. Yeah, saw a little bit of the village and the abbey which was cool and sat in a pub garden with a nice cool cider and then now I'm walking back to the campsite back on this trek which I've walked four times now in the last two days plus another half because I forgot my face mask on the way here so I had to turn around and go and get it because you're not allowed in any shops without it so, so yeah a couple of new things that I have this trip that I didn't have last trip my awning, uh, a gas bottle for my stove, so I used my stove last night. I cooked dinner on it just fine. Also I've bought a fridge um, that will run off of my solar panels. It hasn't arrived yet. It was supposed to be delivered to home today. My parents, being not too far away, were going to drive it up if it got delivered in time, but the last I checked it wasn't even out for delivery, so I doubt that will be today. Amazon. I think it was coming all the way from like Frankfurt. This is like a serious trek. I mean, pretty high up. It's windy. I'm sure you can hear. XT4's run out of battery. Yes, I now have a, a curtain for my rear tailgate window, which secures by magnets, which is very good. Works very well. And I can just take it completely away when I don't want it, which is what I wanted. And it sticks there really well. So, very happy with that. I'm really out of breath. He wanted to go away for two days. I'm away for three days now. And on your own, it's not a whole lot of fun. That's probably why I've walked back and forth from the village thrice now. But getting all those steps in. So I'm gonna go back to the van, and make some dinner. Cause I'm very hungry. There's a house over there. I think I'm Wednesday type of thing. My screen is so small. It's in this area. It is huge. Very big house. I feel like I do that every vlog. Just pick out a house in the distance and point to it. <laughs> Hi, 
it's the next day. It's just gone eight o'clock in the evening. Today my parents uh, brought the dogs over because we're not far from home. And we went for a walk and that was nice, had lunch, came back and they left. And I've just been going through some footage. I feel like this vlog might be a bit weird. I apologize for that if it is. I've just been a bit wary about getting my camera out on the campsite. You never know who is watching with their uh, sticky little fingers. That was a weird thing to say. Um, so this is my last night here. I leave tomorrow morning. I think I could probably pack away within an hour, I'm gonna say, but we'll see how that works out. Tonight, I'm just gonna chill out. I had quite a big lunch, so probably just gonna have like avocado on toast. Overall, um, this trip has been really good and sort of served its purpose, I guess, in getting used to the setup, testing out the new awning. I like it, it's very good. Also, my parents brought me a little kettle so I can have coffee in my van now or just anything with hot water, which is great. It's always those little finishing touches that you forget and miss the most. It was nice to get that kettle and not have to walk three miles into a village just for coffee. Unfortunately, my fridge didn't arrive. I basically just had all my food in a polystyrene box with a freezer block inside. It lasted about a day, so I've been dealing with lukewarm lettuce since, but that's fine. I should have a fridge soon. That issue will be solved. Next problem is obviously the door. I showed you guys the picture. My door is back on now, as I said, but I need to replace the rubber bush, which basically keeps the runner on the track. The one that is on there has just disintegrated, I guess, which is why the door came off its, its track. Stop me from going to sleep. One thing I would have really liked to have is a barbecue. While my stove has actually turned out to be really good, um, and I know how to control the flame better now. It's quite restrictive with two small burners and a barbecue is just fun when you're with friends. You can all sit around the barbecue and yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Do some barbecuing. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, I don't really want to vlog tomorrow when I'm packing up. Uh, I just want to concentrate on being as efficient as I can in my packing up. So I think I'm going to leave the vlog here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking around St. Abbott's lovely little village, great campsite. Um, come and visit if you are ever in the area. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and follow me on Instagram at underscore Joe Films. Until the next time, take care, be a good human and I'll see you. Bye. I, I realized earlier that last night was actually the first night I had in the van that nothing went wrong. It was only my third night in the van ever. But still, nothing went wrong, and that's good. Um, I slept well, and 